Vigo County teachers are gearing up to take a stand on November 19th at Red for Ed Action Day. The present and the future of our profession and the success of students depend on what we do and the voice that we can be heard in Indianapolis on November 19th. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Teachers across Indiana are ready to make their voices heard on Red for Ed Action Day. It coincides with Organization Day at the Indiana State House. That's when lawmakers talk about topics for the upcoming session. Well, nearly half of Vigo County teachers requested personal days to attend. Newston's Dominic Miranda spoke with one of those teachers. He joins us now live with more on what she expects on November the 19th. I'm here live at the Vigo County School Corporation's central office. As we've reported, schools in the districts will make next Tuesday a snow day. This is in support of the many teachers who plan to attend the Red for Ed Action Day in Indianapolis. I got a chance to hear a teacher's perspective on her expectations, not only for that day, but the days, weeks, and months that follow. Meet Jody Buckaloo. She's a special ed teacher at Lost Creek Elementary in Terre Haute. She'll be at Red for Ed Action Day with a message. If we don't stand up to Indianapolis, if we don't stand up to the state legislators, this will not stop. It's been going on for over 10 years, and it's time we use our teacher voice. Communications Director Bill Riley says the school corp stands behind its teachers. We believe in what teachers are doing. They're letting their voice be heard. And, you know, if you've followed along with what we've done all this year, We've been promoting that Red for Ed movement. It's a positive day and we support our teachers. The teachers are lobbying for many changes, like better pay and fair student assessment exams. Buckaloo hopes to let legislators know teachers are standing up instead of standing by. But it won't stop with Tuesday's rally. We will be at every opportunity that we can to see our state legislators. We will be in our own communities making sure that our local representatives across the state are aware of, of the importance of the bills that they pass for pro-public education. As of today, over 10,000 teachers plan to attend the Red for Ed Action Day. That includes over 80 school corporations that will be participating. It will certainly be interesting to see what comes of November 19th. Reporting live from the Vigo County School Corporation, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10. The National Education Association says Indiana ranks 36th in the country when it comes to average starting teacher salary. That figure is just under $36,000 per year. The teacher pay gap in Indiana is 79 cents on the dollar compared to other professionals with the same education and experience. As a reminder, some area schools have canceled the day of the rally. Again, that's next Tuesday. We've seen messages from Vigo County, North Central Park, South Vermilion, and Washington Community Schools. We've put information on their makeup days on our website. That's WTHITV.com.